Richard Alonso Gonzalez, known by many as Pancho, was the dominating player in the 1950s and early 60s. Born in Los Angeles as the oldest of seven children, Richard learned the game of tennis on public courts, mostly by himself. His tenacious attitude, his passion for the game and his flamboyant personality turned him into the first Hispanic American superstar in tennis. In 1948, he wins his first US national championship at the tender age of 20. He successfully defended his title the very next year, but his decision to turn pro in 1950 meant he was denied entrance into Grand Slam tournaments for many years of his career. Yet, Pancho's place in the history of the sport is well cemented. At age 40, he still beat the likes of Arthur Ashe, Rod Laver, Roy Emerson and John Newcomb, all at the peak of their careers. His major weapon was his serve. With the reputation of being almost unbreakable, Pancho expected nothing less than to hold his serve every single time he stepped up the baseline. The most obvious technical difference compared to modern serves was the work of his feet. Players weren't allowed to jump on the serve, so Pancho kept his front foot grounded and stepped forward with his right one after impact in order to close in quickly to the net. Like all great servers in the game, Pancho had an amazingly flexible shoulder as indicated by his deep record drop. That flexibility allowed him to greatly accelerate the racket toward the ball. But fluidity was key in this motion because of the heaviness of the rackets. Also, the sweet spot was much smaller compared to the modern rackets, which means a slight off-center hit could lead to a heavy loss in power. So it's all the more astonishing how consistently well Pancho Gonzalez was able to serve. A modern player who equals Pancho's precision and disguise is Roger Federer. With the rules changed, today's players use their lower body a lot more. You can see how Roger pushes into the court by bending his knees and then lets his momentum carry him upward toward the ball. Unlike Gonzalez, it's his left foot that is planted first inside the court, while his right one makes a balanced move. Pancho Gonzalez and Roger Federer, two of the most graceful champions the sport has ever seen.